What can I tell about this dinner? Nothing, because whatever I tell won't explain even a fraction of the flavor bunch it brings to the table. So I encourage you to dare and make it today, tomorrow the latest, and have a special family event without a cost. I bet you won't regret it. This is a slowly cooked dish. Disclaimer, this is a slow cooker free recipe, so no worries about having one. Just make sure you start cooking two hours before gathering around the table. Not at all that time you'll be cooking nonstop, but the meat certainly is going to take some time. We're going to use one of the cheapest meat cuts in this recipe and we'll elevate it with a couple techniques. If you've already found your best butcher, better buy beef short ribs from them. If you're still butcher free like me, buy from a large grocery store. It will come already cut into individual ribs and will have some marbling and most likely excessive fat. Anyway, carve out as much fat as you can and not only for the health benefits, but to make the right consistency of the future sauce. Season each piece with a generous amount of salt and pepper, making sure all sides get their portion of love. Toss, turn and tap to collect all the seasonings and transfer the meat next to the stove. Heat the olive oil in the oven-proof deep pan on the medium and place the ribs meaty side down. The pan shall have enough space not to overcrowd the meat and have some extra room for the rest of the big flavor suppliers. Roast the ribs until they are nice, rich, dark brown from all the sides, which will seal the juices in. Depending on the size of the side, it will take about two minutes for the meaty side to brown and less for the bone side. Cut one garlic head in half and send to the pan skin and everything else on. Cook a minute and add the time sprigs, one per each rib. Move the ribs in the pan so that you have a little room in the center and add tomato sauce. Let it roast and bubble a few seconds to add the savory or better to say umami taste and then pour in the red wine so that meat is covered to one third. Use any red wine, the taste of which you truly appreciate and you will be good. Cook and cover until the wine is reduced in half. By that time, the alcohol should have already evaporated. Set the oven to 340 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Add the stock to cover the half of the meat, bring to boil and let it cook while you spoon the juice over the meat top. Cover with foil and be careful as the pan will be hot. Seal the foil around the pan and don't repeat my mistake with the towel. Obviously, it was helpless. But the mittens eventually sealed it, although making me work hard. Send the pan to the oven for slow cooking for about one and a half hours. While the meat is slow cooking, make palm puree or simply said mashed potatoes. Boil a kettle of water, peel potatoes, wash, roughly chop, transfer to pot, add the boiling water, season with salt and let it boil. Then reduce the heat and cook until tender. Now make a simple salad. Julian red radishes, chop the lettuce and make a lemony poppy seed dressing. For the dressing, take a jar with a lid and combine freshly squeezed lemon juice, the olive oil, maple syrup, poppy seeds and a pinch of salt. Close the lid and shake well to combine. Pour it over the salad and toss together in a large mixing bowl. Set aside and let the flavors bloom. When potatoes are cooked, drain about one cup of the cooking water into a small bowl and discard the rest. Mashed potatoes, add a little of potato cooking water, room temperature butter and heavy cream. Mix and stir everything well and check the seasonings. Take the meat out of the oven and carefully unwrap the foil.
Take out the garlic and thyme sprigs and pass through the sieve into a bowl. Then add a few spoons of cooking juices through the sieve on top of the garlic and thyme. Mix the pureed garlic and the juices to make a flavorful, thick sauce. Take the bones out. They slide quite easily if you help yourself with tongs. Place a spoon of mashed potatoes in the center of the plate, making a bed for the meat. Put the boneless piece of meat over it and pour the garlic sauce on top of the meat and around the palm puree, if desired. Garnish with chopped cilantro or parsley, serve and enjoy. All ingredients and measurements are listed in the description below, so check them out. I've also left there a few links to the small but very hearty dinner collection you may be inspired with. If you have any questions about this or other Fabits recipes, please let us know in the comments. We're still growing and have an opportunity to answer to each and every comment. So take the advantage of it while it is still available. Please like and share this video if you think we deserve it. And if you are here for the first time, check out other Fabits videos and subscribe. Don't miss to hit the bell button to join us every time we post a new video. Thanks for being with us today and we will meet again in the next video. Ciao!